Did you guys see the poll I did? So um, at 10.30, 228 people said yes. Um, so I, oh, I guess you can't see it. It's actually small, my bad. Um, I asked uh, DJs, do you drink at events? Yes or no? So 228 for yes, 300 for no is pretty, pretty close. I'm going to give you my theory on drinking, right, at weddings. This is, this is what I think, right? This is my personal opinion. So I don't know why I hit that button by accident. My bad. Give you a little fairy dust before I give you my theory. When you're DJing a wedding, you shouldn't drink, okay? And I'm going to tell you why. There's exceptions, but I'm going to tell you why. If you're the main guy, okay, and you're DJing a wedding, you have a lot of responsibilities. You have to talk to a lot of people, and there's a lot of moving parts, and there's a lot of things that could go wrong. So if one of those said things go wrong, they could blame the ah, 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 you know what I mean? They could blame that shit. If, like, they smell it and they're just not cool with it because you had no idea, that could be another thing that go wrong. They could freak out, right? A lot of venues don't allow the staff to drink. They say, no, you're not allowed to drink. So there's really no way you can drink unless you're, like, bringing your own bottle and shit. Like, you know what I mean? So, like, the staff isn't cool with it either. So they can get pissed at you. Like, there's just a lot of bullshit that could happen. You know what I mean? There's just a lot of things that can go wrong. Not to mention, you know, like, I don't know. It's just, there's too much to go wrong at a wedding. So you want to keep your head on straight, and you don't want to give anybody a reason to fuck with you. You know what I mean? You don't want to give anybody a reason to, you know, oh, you know, like anything to point at. Oh, that's why this happened. Da, da, da. Like, for example, my USB went out the other day when people were bouncing up and down, right? Well, if I was friggin' tipsy up there, just openly drinking, they could be like, oh, this idiot, he stopped the music because he was drunk. Like, nah, <laughs> nah, it's because I taped the wires because I'm dumb, not because I'm drunk, you know? You just, you don't, you don't give yourself a reason. Now, bars and clubs are different. Like, that's a different environment for me. And like, a lot of times, you know, the alcohol is part of the, part of the pay, you know what I mean? Like, oh, we'll, we'll pay you 400 bucks and you get a tab, you know what I mean? Like, it's part of the pay, so... I always eat something, you know, I always have a couple of drinks. You want to be loose, you know, you're allowed to drink there. It's encouraged, essentially, because they're giving it to you for free. And uh, it's just a good time, you know, don't get too drunk and drive home, obviously. But like, you know, have a couple of drinks, bar, or club. I mean, that's totally acceptable. Uh, so that's just different to me, you know what I mean? And then, of course, like any underage event where like, you know, 90% of the crowd isn't 21. I mean, that's, you know, no real reason to drink there. Um, I will say, though... Um, if uh, if I'm assisting somebody and it's not my wedding, <laughs> then um, then I would if the circumstances are right. You know, I have for sure because I don't have to talk to nobody. You know, I don't have to talk to nobody. I have, to, I have no responsibilities other than if they want me to mix or whatever. That's piece of cake. No problem. I can mix. But none of nothing. I'm not. I'm not lining up the bridal party. I'm not coordinating with the with the mater date. I'm not doing nothing. So. You know, if it's somebody else's wedding, like, and I'm just assisting, and they don't care, or if they happen to be drinking, whatever, I, you know, I would, then I would, you know, but uh, other than that, I just think, you know, you gotta, you, you, you gotta know what's up. <laughs>